Hi guys, NHS dentistry, like other parts of the healthcare service, has been gutted by the Tories over the last 14 years. So in order to trick the public into thinking that the Conservatives care about providing both the NHS with what it needs and dentists with decent contracts that allow them to see more patients, the government has thrown together a plan ahead of the general election. Another plan, but this time it seems that the dentists have been able to call it out for what it is, a joke. Here Sean Charwood, the chair of the BDA's General Dental Practice Committee, told lawmakers exactly what his members thought. And most damningly, dentists don't believe that this will improve access for patients. Only 3% believe that this plan will result in their practice seeing more NHS patients. Almost half believe it will do the exact opposite, the exact opposite, and lead to their practice seeing fewer NHS patients. Not fewer existing patients to make space for those who haven't been seen, fewer patients overall. And to conclude, we also asked our members to sum up the plan in their own words, and this gives you a sense of the emotion of it. We didn't offer any prompts, free text. What we got was unambiguous, cold fury from colleagues who have given up hope, frankly, of change. I read the words too little, too late, over a hundred times in responses. We counted the phrases used most often. They were, I quote, not fit for purpose, dishonest, inadequate, rubbish, and I'm sorry to say, a joke. It's a pretty good summary of what the profession makes of this plan. It feels to me that this plan was not designed to rescue NHS dentistry. It was designed with the upcoming election in mind to try and limit the political damage the access crisis is doing to political prospects in constituencies. The measures in the plan make for a good press release, a nice photo opportunity, or something for candidates to talk about on the doorstep. But this recovery plan, to be honest, is not worthy of the title. The fundamental perversity of this system remains unchallenged. One colleague, to conclude, commented that you cannot rebuild a collapsed wall with a box of polyfiller. And that's precisely what is sadly being attempted here once again. More papering over of cracks rather than the decisive and fundamental reform that you, your committee, recommended to deliver care to the millions of your constituencies who can't access NHS dental care. And there you have it. You know, he described, his members described the plan, another plan, as too little, too late, not fit for purpose, dishonest, rubbish and a joke. And you could apply that also to the Conservative Party and Conservative governments over the last 14 years. Too little, too late, not fit for purpose, dishonest, rubbish and a joke. Their whole thing over the last 14 years has been to run the NHS, including NHS dentistry, into the ground. To force more and more people to rely on the private sector. Because they're not interested in investing money in public services. So if they don't invest money in public services, then the public have to rely on other services, those provided by the private sector. But of course, the private sector can't replace the NHS for a number of reasons, including the the fact that many people can't afford to go privately. So this small number of NHS dentists that still exist are overloaded. We saw queues, I think it was Channel 4 News, uh, filmed a queue of people outside a a a NHS dentistry a clinic just trying to get an appointment not actually waiting for dental work but just to get an appointment and they were told well the next available dent- NHS dentist is about 40 miles away this is completely unacceptable but it, once again as was pointed out here by by Sean this is all a plan to convince people at the general election that the Tories are the people to back They have been in power for 14 years and now they're talking about now we have a plan to fix things. Labour don't have a plan, we have a plan. Constantly talking about the future, not actually what they can do today. Why haven't they done anything over the last 14 years? Why have things got worse instead of better? Now they're saying, please vote for us at the next general election because we're going to make things better. We've been in power for 14 years and we've done sweet F.A., We've actually done the opposite. We've made the situation worse. And now you should vote for us. Now, unfortunately, some people will buy into this. Some people will vote Tory because they believe, well, if we vote for the Conservative Party, what they're going to do is they're going to fix the NHS. 
<laughs> unfortunately, some of those people still exist, and and worse than that, some of them vote as well. So the Tories are relying on the ignorant and the stupid. They're relying on the stupidity of people not to challenge this, and they're relying on the ignorance of people not to think that, not to ask themselves, well, why don't why haven't you done something over the last fourteen years? Why are you talking about the future? You are in power now. It's you know it's one thing for Labour to say this is what we will do in the future because they're not in power. The other, it's completely different for the Tories to talk about what they'll do in the future when they're in power now. We've heard stories about people pulling out their own teeth. We've heard stories about people going to A&E because they can't get treatment. And then uh, this is putting an extra pressure on other sectors, other sections of the NHS. All for either ideological reasons or all because the Tories don't want to spend money in the public service. They want just more and more people to go privately. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.